Hello, my beautiful soul family. Welcome to my podcast, The Spiritual Alchemist. If you are new here, please listen to my other collection of episodes for guidance and inspiration on your spiritual journey. So quick announcement, you guys, as well for you. If you are in need of a psychic reading or need spiritual guidance, please feel free to reach out to me at one 356 4000 and enter the promotion code IRIS777 for your special discounted offer. You can also reach out to me at pathforwardpsychics.com. And if you would like a more private session, you can email me at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com. I offer uh, one hour sessions where I channel messages from the archangels and my spirit guides for you. I also answer questions at the end of the reading and pull oracle cards. So whatever you prefer, we can do. And I have 30 minute sessions also available. So if you guys are interested in a psychic reading this month in June, I have open availability and you can again reach out to me through pathforwardpsychics.com and enter that promotion code IRIS777 so you can get a special discounted offer or you can do a private session and reach out to me at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com. All right, you guys, so enough with announcements. I'm gonna go ahead and get into these channeled oracle messages that I'm receiving from my angels and spirit guides for the month of June. So this is gonna really be an energy update and me giving you channeled oracle messages of what the collective is experiencing during our ascension process right now what we are freeing ourselves from and what is happening collectively okay so i am seeing currently during our ascension that we are coming more into alignment with our highest truth and living in our integrity so liberation was key okay i was hearing liberation liberation is happening collectively as we take our personal power back, we are remembering the truth of who we are and stepping into our truest potential. There is a self-realization of inner empowerment that is taking place this month in June, and it will be continuing to evolve in the year of the dragon of 2024. And this is going to be a very powerful ascension year for all of us. The dragon represents prosperity, wealth, fortune, also taking your power back. It symbolizes the solar plexus chakra, which is yellow. This represents the center of your being. And this is all about your willpower, your drive, your determination, success. Okay. So there's a lot of great wealth and prosperity that is coming your way as you take your power back and end these karmic cycles in your life that have been playing out for eons of time, for lifetimes upon lifetimes. Okay. So we are taking our power back. This is a powerful shift of releasing yourself from the things, people, or situations that are no longer serving you in this new phase of your soul's evolution. You are stepping fully into your sovereignty and reclaiming your truth. This will bring total harmony, balance of energies, fulfillment, and ultimate joy of communion with one's soul and its purpose in this lifetime. There is a forward momentum of initiation frequencies that are hitting planet Earth. These initiation frequencies are unfolding, and it's going to get you to an eventual arrival to self-attainment and mastery of self. So all these karmic lessons that you've been experiencing, whether it's in your romantic relationships, with family, with your work situations, these are helping you to become a better version of who it is you're meant to be in this new chapter of your evolutionary uh, cycle. And it's really a mastery of self, okay? So we're taking back our power. We're taking back control of ourself. And I was hearing spirit say soul fragmentation. So what that means, you guys, is many of us, when we get in toxic karmic relationships or family karmic situations or jobs, uh, we can really feel out of alignment with these people or situations. And we feel very lost. We get confused. We go through a lot of toxic situations and it really pulls us out of our own energy field. And a lot of our soul is fragmented. Okay. So these pieces are are like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but these pieces are uh, like coming out, okay? And, and we become lost, confused, illusion. A lot of things are happening. 
happening and I'm seeing all these like pieces of your soul coming back together like a puzzle piece and you are going to become more whole and complete within yourself, okay? So you're, you once felt lost, but as you end these karmic cycles in your life, whatever it may be for you, you're coming back into your own power. You're empowering yourself. You're stepping in your truth and your integrity and the soul fragmentation. All You're retrieving your soul and all the pieces are coming back together so that you're whole within yourself, okay? So spirit and your angels and soul galactic families are congratulating you and giving you a high five as you are becoming more free and empowered and truly stepping into your highest potential. You are seeing your worth and value now and choosing yourself in this new cycle. So this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Many of us have chose other people, relationships, partners, family dynamics. Many of us kept putting our energy and time into people and situations that were not in alignment. They kept pulling us out of ourselves and that made you feel very lost and confused. Now you're taking your power back and you're choosing yourself. So you're gonna be empowered. You're gonna feel a lot more whole and complete as you're stepping into your true potential and becoming your true authentic self. So this is absolutely amazing. Okay. So spirit is saying, this is a great time to celebrate your achievements for all you have accomplished and all you've released yourself from. Be proud of yourself and be ready for change. The next message from spirit for the month of June is to clear through any mental chatter, negative thoughts about yourself or others, self-limiting belief systems, and old programming that could be holding you back. So as we're stepping into our power and re we're reclaiming our power back and we're going through the soul retrieval and we're becoming more healed and whole within ourselves, we're going to need to release old programming, old negative thoughts that we've told ourselves for eons of time, okay? This could be old programming from your family, from your childhood, what you once believed about yourself, okay? Self-limiting belief systems are going to be being erased from your consciousness, uh, negative thoughts, old programming, old outdated ways of doing things, okay, that was holding you back in the past. So, Focus on looking at everything happening in your life from a higher spiritual perspective. Allow your thoughts to disappear and focus on feeling the energy of peace and serenity and your soul's connection to the cosmos. Purify and clear confusion and ask the universe for assistance in bringing you a new outlook. So it's time to really have a new outlook on life. You're starting over at a clean slate. And this is what happens, you guys, as we release and let go of old programming and old um, relationships and things that we once affiliated ourselves with, we're coming into a new higher vibrational state of being. So it's important that you ask the universe for assistance and purify through any confusion so that you can look at things from uh, a higher perspective, a new outlook, okay? So Spirit is saying, think big. You will have new ideas of creation coming into your mind. This is a time of full expansion and attracting very high vibrational frequencies. Always perceive situations from a higher perspective. See clearly the reality and truth, leaving behind any illusions. As you begin to change your thoughts and old programming, you will begin to manifest prosperity, fortune, and new opportunities into your existence. Okay, so when you are thriving in positive thoughts, you begin to empower and reattune the soul to its internal and external natural state of richness and magnificence. And when the soul manifests abundance upon pure intentions and high vibrational energy, all thoughts are in alignment and poverty consciousness is erased and lasting inner fulfillment is delivered, okay? So as you guys come more into alignment with positive thoughts, high vibrational energy, you're focused on making your dreams a reality, you're releasing and letting go of things that are no longer in alignment, you're gonna get rid of that poverty consciousness, okay? A lot of this has to do with your self-worth and value, 
You know, many of us have felt not good enough in relationships or not deserving of love, or we were manipulated or deceived in some way. And then a lot of people, it could be financial, like poverty consciousness, you know, with the whole 3D matrix of, you know, worrying about money and finances, uh, having a scarcity mindset. So this poverty consciousness and scarcity mindset is going to be erased, okay? And lasting inner fulfillment is delivered, but you have to bring your energy and vibration into alignment and think positive, okay? Because whatever you think and put out into the universe is obviously what you get back. So abundance is measured inwardly and flows from the inside out, thus manifesting outer abundance, okay? So it always starts internally and then you manifest it outwardly, okay? So money will flow easily and freely into your life. The next message for the collective is you are now or will be transmuting lower vibration emotions and thoughts, hidden negativity, frustration, and confusion that has been a factor in your life. There are divine light codes that are helping you to transmute these emotions and return your auric field back to harmony, peace, and balance. Do not over identify with any negative lower vibrational energies as it disrupts your ascension process and anyone who is operating from lower vibrations, you need to disconnect from them, okay? So Spirit was giving me that clear message of raising your vibrational frequency, um, the divine light codes that are coming in, that are streaming in right now, it's, it's upgrading our DNA and it's helping us to transmute this old energy, old emotions, past lifetimes, okay, trauma, wounding, so that we can return back to harmony, peace, and balance within ourselves. So don't over-identify with any negative, lower vibrational energies, thoughts, or your ego, and really keep yourself in balance, okay? And disconnect from anyone that is in a lower vibrational energy as it is not in alignment with who you are or where you're going in this new cycle. Okay, and Spirit is saying here, let's see, we are clearing energies around loneliness or feeling separated or disconnected from source God and our physical world. So spirit is saying to engage in your community and time to stop hiding. Yes, many of you during your healing process or maybe for many years, you've been hiding away in your house, not connecting with other people, you know, just feeling the sadness, loneliness, this a feeling of separation, okay? So Spirit is saying to engage in your community. Um, there's a strong urge that many of us feel to reconnect with um, our home, our soul star family. You are never alone and your galactic soul star family is trying to telepathically connect with you. So listen to what you are receiving in dream state. So this could be happening through your dreams. This could be happening just in your waking life through visions or channeled messages that you're receiving from spirit. So they're asking you to delve deeper into your soul and connect telepathically with your galactic soul star family and also to engage engage in the physical world and meet new people and new connections, okay? We need to start showing the world our true authentic self and stepping fully into that energy this year. So once you choose to get involved or engage with life and your community, it will engage back. So many of us this year will find our true soul family and meet new friends and new love that will remind you that you belong, they will feel like your true family. So this feeling of isolation will soon be gone and you will feel whole again as you reconnect with your own soul's power and your true soul star family. My last message for the collective is emotional freedom. Very important, you guys. A very important topic. So Spirit is saying at times you may feel emotionally unstable, but when you share your emotions with yourself and others, it will help you release them and rebalance your energies. Focus on restoring harmony to your emotional center and engage in self-loving acts to help you restabilize yourself. So this is really important as, as you're healing, you're releasing and letting go of people, situations, and things that are no longer in alignment. You're going to have to really restabilize yourself. You can do this through taking sea salt baths 
or going to the beach or being near the water. This will help you detox your emotions. Um, being more vulnerable and open will be in your highest good for your soul's growth, okay? So once we release our stability is regained, okay? So we are literally freeing ourselves on an emotional level. We're gonna understand as we heal our inner child and we're healing all the things that have happened in this lifetime and in previous lifetimes, um, we're gonna understand how important it is to reclaim our personal power back and be our true, authentic self. And we're gonna start stepping into our highest potential so that we can continue to grow and evolve spiritually. So this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I just feel like a major energy release, a liberation, a freedom that is taking place for you guys, but you have to keep your mind balanced. You got to control your emotions. You got to stabilize yourself and kind of cut through any sort of illusions or lies or negative self-talk that you're telling yourself, okay? And then really quickly, we had a few chakra oracle messages that came out. There was three, okay? Um, all of our chakras are coming more into balance. They're coming into alignment as we receive these divine light codes. Um, we had the crown portal that came out for you guys. So the crown portal represents... Uh, connecting with your higher self. And when you connect with your higher self, you're connecting to God's source. So this is about going to God directly for the answers, connecting with your crown chakra. You're expanding your consciousness. Your consciousness is raising into a, a higher God consciousness. You're gonna start seeing the truth and the power within yourself. And this is about being in an energy of unity, not separation. So this is about becoming whole within yourself. And then we also have the sacral chakra, which represents our sexuality, our creativity, expressing your desires. Um, this is about really using your creative energy, your abilities, and your talents to create and manifest what it is that you desire and want to come into your life in this, in this new cycle and not holding yourself back or repressing that creative energy. It could be a sexual energy as well as it represents sexuality. So being open, being vulnerable, okay? Um, putting up boundaries, yes, protecting yourself, but also being open and receptive to what the universe is offering you and really focusing on your creative juices, allowing them to flourish and grow, okay? And then the last one is the throat chakra, which is really important. Many of us felt held back. Many of us were not speaking our truth or we were not in our power. So many of you guys could literally uh, have a blockage in your throat chakra where you didn't feel like you could speak your highest truth or you couldn't be your true authentic self. Many people were holding you back, okay? So there was an energy of powerlessness is what I'm hearing spirits say. So now with the throat chakra, throat chakra being activated at this time during our ascension process, you guys are going to be speaking your truth. You're going to be clear on what you want. I'm hearing discernment. So you're going to be discerning the truth from illusion, and you're going to have the courage to step into your power through your voice and what it is you have to say and express, okay? So really beautiful energies for you guys. Uh, 2024 is going to be an amazing year. This is really exciting. So thank you guys for joining me in this episode on my podcast, The Spiritual Alchemist. If you need a psychic reading, you guys, please feel free. Um, you can reach out to me at one 855 356 4000 and enter the promo code IRIS777 to receive your special discounted offer. And if you prefer a one-on-one -on -one private session, just send me an email at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com and we'll go over all the details and book a session for you, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love all of you and I will be doing another episode very soon, but please subscribe to my podcast and check out all the other episodes on my channel. All right. And I appreciate all the love and support you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. So have a beautiful, blessed day and I will see you next time. Namaste.